Fuck yeah. Jesus Christ. Thriving, John Murray, I'm thriving. Didn't you see the, the chuckle video where I'm like, well, I had to buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon. I had to buy a ring light on Amazon. Like, I literally you're threw chuckle, shorts and tank tops into a suitcase, and it's cold here. You're talking about chuckle rum, and they you you do a laughable long shot. Why is it laughable? I don't know. The point's because is chuckle uh, sponsors comedians, and so like their big thing is like they they want like comedy, and I'm not that funny. And it's no. like here's a long shot video who has no shot to win outright, right? Except for. We should have hit the last two weeks. And so I'm a little so depressed you, about it. You had, I want to talk about that. You had the, the chuckle rum, the rum ham. The rum ham last week was Cal, right? <laughs> was it? It was 35 to 10. I so went I, to bed. It was 35 I to 10. Sleep, man. I, I don't, I, I'm not, I say this all the time on our show. I don't understand how people stay awake for sporting events on the East Coast. I live in Las Vegas and I fell asleep before the game ended. And I woke up and I saw the score and I couldn't believe it. How did they possibly lose the game, Cal? So I went to bed at 35 to 10 and then something in my soul just shocked me awake. And I wake up and I look at the score. Cal is still up three, I think. I think it was 38, 35. I don't remember. I was like one eyeing it like, okay. Just get a stop defense. But of course, at that point, the defense is just completely defeated because – the offense hadn't done anything for the entire fourth quarter. So the defense just got it, – it was not good. It was not good. I can't believe them and Western Kentucky money line the last two weeks just like – I would just rather have a team backdoor and not even give me an opportunity to like cover the money line. Does that make sense? Like I would rather that than these like gut-wrenching losses where they wire-to-wire -wire cover and then don't win the game. I just don't understand what's funny about it. Like, why is it laughable? It's funny because Miami fans are losing their minds in the mentions. Auburn fans were telling me what a fucking idiot I was in the mentions. Like, all of these teams are like, you're so stupid. And it's like, who's laughing now? It's like almost like the inverse. So, you know, so we're like, we're doing exactly what you always say you don't want to do. We're recapping. You don't like I am that. not recapping. You are recapping. No, I'm, I, you just told me all about the game. You all right? You, all you right what would you like to recap? You went to San Diego. I went to the well. I, well, I went to the UNLV Syracuse game on Friday. That was that was a lot of fun. And UNLV plays Boise State here in a couple of weeks. That's going to be really cool. I did does, go. Does the Westgate let you have the suite for those games? No, there's no. no oh, no. oh, sure. Just sitting with the people like I usually do. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, Such a lie. Uh, Sunday. Let's talk about Sunday. Sunday was lousy around here because we needed, I can tell you in the morning, the main things we needed were Cincinnati. That hurt. And that coach pulled a, I call that a, a Ryan Day. A Ryan Day is when you get the ball onto the fringes of field goal range. And instead of just continuing to move the ball forward, you settle for a long field goal. The only reason that Ohio State didn't win the national championship two years ago is they did that in the semifinal game against Georgia. They yes. would have beat TCU, and they would have won the national championship. But Ryan yep. Day was happy to just stay there and kick the field goal. Zach Taylor did it on Sunday. It's actually kind of impressive how good of a job McPherson did of kicking that ball because the, the holder dropped the snap. And he just put the ball down. And he still actually kicked it pretty far. It, uh, the, okay, but hear me out. The reason why he kicked is because that was to win the game. They didn't no, need I, a touchdown to win, correct? I don't have a problem with the field goal. I'm saying why not – Can they, they've been throwing the ball at will the whole game. Okay, I see what you're saying. And he, then when they got going, in the French field goal range, I instead mean, of just continuing to go, they – You really need to settle for a 53-yard field goal. You don't want to try to make it a 40-yard field goal. You've got Joe Burrow. Yeah. You don't want to even attempt to get a little closer here. That's, That's my problem. Good. Then we, we needed a, we needed Cleveland. Cleveland is a mess. You know, we needed Cleveland. They lost. Yeah, Cleveland's not any good. Uh, no, they're not. And then we needed, unfortunately, we did need the Raiders in the afternoon. I know Kelly and I both like Denver. So did everybody else, apparently. Sorry. So we 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 didn't really do too. I well. kind of like oh, Denver yeah. again this week, but that's a whole nother argument. So let's let's do this because. You hate the recap segment, and we just our, recap. We just did it just for our you. Listeners, our listeners hate the survivor segment because no one else is still alive. So <sighs> you want? 
should we do that next and then get that out of the way and then we can move into the plays? Because nobody wants to hear about it. All right, I'll give the short version for the first time in my life. Yeah, let's see. You guys took Seattle and I tried to argue against it. I kept sending tweets and videos. Anyway, luckily we also had the Chiefs, so we still have one survivor remaining. You and I took the Denver Broncos in Splash, so I'm very happy with that result. We did, but uh, there's a little bit... There's more to that story. I know you're giving a short version, but what I, I said- on you, the, I just was trying to keep it going for our audience. I didn't think well, they needed all the nuts and bolts. What I said on the show last week was there's two choices here. You can either, if you want to gamble, you take Kansas City in one because no one's going to use Kansas City because everybody's saving them. And then you take a chance on the other one. And then, That's what I wanted. I That's know. what I wanted. But, but you you also are the one that wanted to have partners. If you want to have all the say for yourself, you got to pay for the entries yourself. So I don't really think that's fair. Yes, now that we saw that every three point favorite we considered all won, obviously yeah, but, now in retrospect, I wish we had done that. But we didn't okay. know that at the time, do we? I mean, no. I kind of knew that. Anyway, you, I, knew that's that, you knew that Jacksonville, Denver, Chicago, and Washington were all going to win. Well, I knew that Denver was going to win. They were my best bet. I felt very confident in Denver, which is why I used them in the splash contest with you. I just I I just knew that Seattle was just in one of those really bad spots. There was all the data after you played Detroit. There was all these sandwich spot references between the, you know, the two Niners. Game. It's just it is what it is. I I just it, we're on. We have the Chiefs in one. 221 people left in the Circa Survivor. 237 left in the Splash. Like, we've been hampering on this, like, $14 million Survivor, but Splash is still a million dollars. And yeah, right. in Circa, we don't have the greatest team. Like, we've used Kansas City. We've used the Niners. We have a pretty solid team outside of using the Bills week one, which was kind of funny because I didn't like the Bills week one, but we, we had 10 entries, and so we split it up. And, uh, you know, did a, five, did a couple five. lost a couple of, what's that? We had five entries. Okay. okay, well, I had 10 entries total. Oh. So, like, well, we kept, you and I did one burgers. Bengals. I did a Bengals. You and I did – you did a couple of Bills. I did a couple of Bills, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it was split up uh, amongst trying not to use the Bengals for obvious reasons. But this one was the Bengals, the Washington football commanders, the Man. Jets – the Bears, and the Bar Broncos. So, like, I actually feel like we're sitting really pretty in Splash. We are, and we do have to make a decision here. You know, the big favorite this week is obviously Philadelphia. I've seen Philadelphia as high as 10. They're at home against Cleveland. Green Bay is an option. I know you like Green Bay. They're at home against Arizona. There's a lot to think about, but you're right. The this, this Splash Survivor Contest is, is also one that we need to make sure we're putting our best foot forward in here because we are in week six. There's only like 200 people left. What did you say, 230 people? 237, and yeah. We've got pretty much all the best teams still at our disposal. I think I do think Buffalo is one of the best teams in the league. I don't I know what Sean too, McDermott but is doing. I don't know what Sean McDermott is doing. but For example, when I, when I pull this one open, right, so we have – it's a hundred dollar buy-in for a million dollars guaranteed. And if you kind of look towards like the standings, right? Let's just look at the, the top as it opens up out of the 237. A lot of people have used Houston. A lot of people have used San Francisco. A lot of people have used Kansas City. A lot of people have used Dallas. A lot of people have used Baltimore, maybe. Uh not that many people have used Baltimore, actually. Yeah, I guess people that use Baltimore got eliminated. They yeah, they got eliminated. A lot of Lions have been used so far. Some interesting ones. A lot of people were smart and used the Chargers week two, and that's probably how they got to where they are, or week one. Really interesting in itself. Uh, quite a few people used Washington last week or Atlanta, so those were kind of tricky ones. Um, that Obviously, Washington was no sweat. Atlanta could have went either way. I mean, I'm really curious to see how this week pans out because there is – uh, once it's all kind of submitted, you can see what like the availability is similar to other contests. So yeah, we'll see. I think Philadelphia is probably going to be the most popular pick this weekend in Circa for obvious reasons. The only other place that I have them to be used is week 14 against the Panthers. They would be probably nine and a half, 10 point favorites. Yeah. I mean, look, Thanksgiving, they don't play on a holiday. 
Correct. Thanksgiving is is a long way away still in this contest, the way that things have gone. Do I think we're going to get to Christmas? Of course I do. I have pretty much full confidence this is probably going the whole way. So, and, and listen, if you get below like 30, 40 people, they're going to, people are going to start talking about a chop. I just chopped uh, last week. Somebody suggested a chop. There was seven of us left. Uh, one guy voted no chop. I was like, oh, all right, if we chop, I'm free rolling all of my contests this year. We voted no chop. I advanced with um, Kansas City in that one as well. Then there's three of us. We decided to do a chop um, on Sunday. So nice chunk of change guaranteed. We're going to play for the last 25. So I figure why not? Uh, but that's kind of how I f- am at right now. It's like, all right, I'm free rolling the entire contest season by far. Let's see where we can get. And I think that kind of gambling might be the play. Well, but also getting wanted to guarantee yourself money. Well, the other reason I wanted to use Kansas City last week on one of the two entries was because I saw our sharpest people taking Kansas City. I didn't want to burn Kansas City, but I saw the sharpest people that I that I know on the Chiefs, and I knew they'd be low used because they're on both holidays. I didn't think only six people would use them. I thought it'd be higher than that. But it ended up being a really a good pick, even though I know we don't have the Chiefs anymore, but I think it ended up being a really good place to use them because the top two teams got eliminated. The Chiefs won. The Chiefs should have won that game by 20-plus points. But they, they kept that game they, total. Yeah, they kept letting New Orleans hang around. They did win the game for us, so we are moving forward. We'll talk more about that later in the week. We're not going to use the Thursday game. No. We're not going to use the freaking London game. No. Kelly... No, we're not going to use London. No, so we're not. We got a lot of time to figure out what we're doing. Do you want to do? Do you want to let me talk about baseball, my passion, or do you want to just go into? Yeah, I got some text messages going off right now. If you'd like to talk about baseball, I can make sure that my family is. No, 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 no. Um, go ahead, baseball. <laughs> we don't want the we don't want the Detroit Tigers to win the American League pennant. You made that very so clear. The uh, the Cleveland. Can you say? Indians, or do we have to? Use you might get team? flagged on YouTube for that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Cleveland I don't Guardians the rules anymore. Called the Indians a few years ago. They they haven't scored a run in the last twenty innings. They got shut out in game two and game three. Game four starts in about forty minutes, so we'll be watching that one uh, pretty closely here at the old. What do you What do you have in terms of any other playoff liabilities or World Series liabilities? Uh, you no, know, it's funny. We don't want the Mets to win the National League. Uh, and they and they beat the Phillies last night. They won Game Four. Selfishly, I found it funny because Bryce Harper plays for the Phillies. Remember, he left the Nationals. And so, you, you you have some personal vendetta against him? No, I don't have a vendetta against anybody. But I, oh, I do, I do get I do draw some amusement from him leaving the Nationals. The Nationals won the World Series the next season. By the way, yes, they did. You know, so yeah, you shouldn't Bryce, have like this animosity towards Bryce Harper. Bryce is still fishing for a World Series title. Bryce Harper is one hell of a baseball player, but he does not have a World Series ring. And then, of course, tomorrow night, game five of the series. I went to game three of San Diego and the Dodgers on Tuesday night in San Diego. That was, that was awesome. Peckle Park for a playoff game. Tremendous. Okay, I'd be game five tomorrow night in L.A. And we got look. We got to root for the Yankees in the other series. Nothing. Root personal. For the Yankees is uh, interesting well, to hear a sportsbook well, director say. Nothing personal against you and your beloved Royals or our, our great mutual friend Andy. My, Sanders, my so. Royals. But we need look. We have to we have to move as if the Tigers are going to win this series. And of course, we're going to want them to play the Yankees instead of the Royals. Makes it easier for us in terms of maneuvering our position. So yeah, we are rooting for. Miss Ariel Epstein's New York Yankees to beat Kansas City. They're up two games to one. College football? You ready? This, this college football Saturday is amazing. Yeah, and I don't really even like that much, but there's going to be a lot of really great games. Sam Paniotovich asked me this morning on BetQL mm-hmm. on if I was going to stay disciplined. And I said, yeah, it'd be completely different if I was like in Vegas for March Madness. But I'm in uh, Chicago. I have a myriad of apps at my disposal. All my bets are already in. I have no desire to bet Ohio State, Oregon, just because. Kelly will not stay disciplined, Sam. She will not. Clip this. Can uh, Guys, clip this one out and send it to Sam. Tag him on, I think it's called X. Kelly is not going to be disciplined. She's going to be betting on all kinds of stuff. 
because this college football Saturday is easily the best Saturday of the year by far, right? I mean, the games are awesome. Ohio State Oregon is the premier game. That game has been bet up from 51 and a half to 54. Total is flying up the boards, but I don't really have anything to, to report on the side. Ohio State is a three point favorite in Eugene. What a great game that's going to be. Do you want to do know what it is? I think it might be lower scoring than people are predicting. Why? But why? But that doesn't mean it's not a great game. Yeah, I think I think so because usually people think great games. They think like I don't know, fifty two, forty five, final like fireworks. That just means, that, that just means people are touchdown junkies. But that just nobody means appreciates the defense, defense anymore. anymore. I don't. I, I don't. To me, that's not a great game. A great game, it should be hard for the teams to to move the ball and hard for the teams to score. No, that's too boring. You need somewhere in the middle, which is what I think is going to happen. Okay, but it, it just if you've got receivers w- running wide open all over the field and the quarterbacks is playing pitch and catch, it's not good. No, play. like this isn't a Colorado game. I'm talking like like to where it's exciting. Like I don't know. I still think of like Oklahoma State, West Virginia, like. That you know, when the first year in the Big Twelve, it's like points abundant. It's like a hundred points at halftime. It was something ridiculous, and the whole world was running to bet the second half under. And when they did, then I walked into the window. But the second half over, I'm like, these two teams can't stop a nosebleed. I'm not saying it's entertaining for me. I'm thinking that the general public finds it entertaining. The, public, the people that you look down on. Ah, not, yes, yes. I am. Uh, I am. People like me. People like Louis. Yeah, well, people like you. Colorado is at. Colorado is at home on Saturday night in Boulder against Kansas State. And I got to tell you, that's one of the teams I highlighted here as we've seen sharp money on Colorado. That number's gone from five and a half down to three and a half. Kelly. Sharp money on Colorado. Don't be defensive. Don't be defensive. Hey, hey, you you remember that game. What was it? Two weeks ago, the Sharps were all over Colorado against Central Florida. And they won the game outright. I don't recall you telling me that because I said I didn't understand why Central (laughs) Florida was such a big favorite, but I don't think you actually gave us, a.k.a. me in the audience, that play. So thank you. Anyways, uh, we also are seeing money on South Florida against Memphis and on Central Florida at minus three against Cincinnati. But but I I think what will be disappointing to Kelly and to the audience is you've got all these really high-profile games. We mentioned Ohio State, Oregon. Texas is playing Oklahoma. Used to be called the Red River Shootout. Rivalry. Shootout. Now it's, now it's the, the rivalry at the Texas State Fair. And I used to always just blindly basically bet the underdog. And now Oklahoma sucks so bad. I can't even trust them to put up a fight. I haven't seen much there. Penn State, USC is another one we haven't really seen a ton on that one either. I kind of like State. USC. I considered them for my parlay. Lincoln Riley as an underdog at home over mm-hmm. field goal. Kind of kind of enticing. Drew Aller, pretty good. Remember when he kicked West Virginia's ass? That was cool. Anyways, um, what is the – let's just – let's skip over that. What What is the hottie threesome? You, you mentioned the rum ham. What, what's the hottie threesome? The rum ham. Virginia, of course. Wait, what What was the rum ham? I, I think we just talked about last oh. week. What is the this? laughable long shot – is Vanderbilt plus 13 and a half. See, I don't – you know what? I got, I'm got. i going to criticize you, so so stop for a second. This Why? Is the sec, this is the second time you've done that where you picked Purdue against Notre Dame as the rum ham when yeah. Notre Dame was off of this, like, horrifying loss. Okay. And now you're picking Vanderbilt as the rum ham when they're off this, like, incredible win. I mean, don't uh, you think yeah. you're, you're buying low, man? No, I don't think I'm buying low. I think I'm betting against Kentucky off a buy off their big incredible win over Mississippi State. Okay. I don't think I don't think that Kentucky can beat somebody by two touchdowns is my issue. Their offense is not that good. Their defense is really good. Yeah. I don't necessarily think Vanderbilt's gonna win this game outright. I'd be laughing my ass off if they had back to back big time upsets. But 13 and a half is interesting. I think it's also very telling. Okay, well, I, I just I feel like you're getting in on these teams at the wrong times. And then, now, the Purdue line was one where the number crashed like crazy and you looked really smart, and then they started playing the game. And Notre Dame kicked the ever-loving shit out of Purdue. In that, that, that they did. What about the hottie threes? Uh, so I have five that I was considering. 
but Virginia is Why locked in. Okay. Why? Well, I, I, oh, you called. I, I have a lot of work to do. Okay, so go ahead. I have a lot here. I'll, I'll share. I'll actually share the ticket that I gave to John Murray, just so that you guys know. But there was a little bit of method to my madness. Um, I looked at North Carolina. I, I don't think I can trust them to win. Mac Brown. It's, he's a really great coach, but I just don't know if I can think that North Carolina can win this game outright. I want to bet against Georgia Tech as a favorite. Okay. It's going to be tough. So I don't think I can get to North Carolina on the money line. Um, and then I was looking at Tom Herman as an underdog at FAU. As I mentioned, Lincoln Riley as an underdog. And then North Carolina State, Marco, uh, reminded me what an interesting spot it's going to be for Syracuse in that game. Uh, coming off that big win over yeah. UNLV and uh, another big top 25 game on deck. Do they really care about North Carolina State? So looking through those, regardless, it's not going to pay out that much this week. It's like going to be like 21 to 1, probably at best. So I need a few more do hours. To, to... Do you want me to boost it? Sure. We could use all of the help we could get. Because, you know, that I used to – Chase Michelson used to do these things. He doesn't work for us anymore. I know. I'm so sad. So How are we going to make fun of him when he works for somebody else? No, you can still make fun of him. Uh, oh. now, that, now that Chase isn't working for us, I can, I'm can. i free to just boost it as much as I want. Okay. He was the so one holding it. 40 to 1 and nobody would say anything? 40 to 1. Okay. Well, let me, let me get back to you on a number. But, so what, what are the three teams again? The, uh, I think ultimately I need a little bit more work to do, but I think ultimately it's going to be Virginia – Florida Atlantic and NC State. When you say you need a little more work to do, didn't you already bet it and send me a screenshot? I bet North Carolina. I bet FAU. I bet Virginia. I bet NC State. I have not bet USC yet. I, I there's this a is very confusing. More work to see who's going to actually win the game outright. I already bet K State minus three and a half because I'm some some homer apparently. I also what bet Rutgers minus two and a half, and I went to bet Iowa. And it moved to three, and I did not bet them. This is a this this segment is really very confusing. I mean, I you just you just gave me like seven teams. One of them's a favorite. I told you everything I bet this weekend. So you don't you don't oh. know what you're, so you don't have the, the hottie threesome is still a work in progress. Is that safe to say? I need I have to still film it. I will film it tonight. I just need I need to look at a couple of more things. Please, can you can you just trust me? Because NC State's down to three and a half now, so it's like. That's not a very big underdog. It's kind of like a little chihuahua. Let's do the NFL because I know you. Uh, so wait, the only sharp plays you've seen this weekend in college football, Colorado, USF, and UCF. That's it. Only three. Central, uh, Central Michigan plus three against Ohio. And I, and I mentioned the over in the, the big game, the Ohio State-Oregon game. Oh, so, you need the over, huh? Well, the, the, yeah, the, the people that bet the over are definitely people that I would uh, respect. Okay. So, Respect. NFL time. You want? Why don't you? You've been. You've really been good in the NFL. What? Uh, what's I your? Haven't. I've been one and one every single week. I feel it's like every time. Thing ever. I feel like every time you you mention NFL play, it's been pretty spot on. No. You, you're too I mean, only the games that I've been giving out. But anyway, go ahead. What's your best bet? My best bet is the Packers. Packers minus five against the Cardinals. And what is the barking dog? I think the barking dog last week was Arizona. The barking dog is very square and it is the Washington football, whatever the Fox oh. plus six and a half. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that one. I mean, I know I don't like to get too bogged down into ticket counts because I think they're mostly, that's mostly just like meaningless information just to make graphics for social media. But I can't help but notice how one side of the tickets are in that game. Of course they are. Everybody's Washington, Washington. Washington's just been crushing. Nobody right. wants to bet against them, and I don't blame them. I think that that's too many points. I understand that you have Ravens power rated this high, but Ravens mm -hmm. should not have even won the game last week, and I think yeah. that there's a little bit of kind of a flat spot, if you will, after beating a divisional opponent, right, after beating the Bills. Here they are. They're supposed to just be riding high, six and a half. For a defense that can't stop anybody, I understand. But are the Ravens really going to be able to stop Jaden Daniels? They look good offensively. Well, I, the one, the biggest difference this year for Washington, besides having Jaden Daniels, is they have like an actual professional coaching staff. There you go. They, they've got a good defensive-minded head, head coach. 
Kingsbury's doing a really good job calling the plays on offense. They they're a very they're actually a well coached team, and then they're they're making Daniels look. I think Daniels is a ridiculously talented kid, but it's all about the coaching, putting these guys in the right positions. Look at Sam Darnold in Minnesota, if you don't believe me. Dan that, Quinn. That's... Ready for this? 14 and 5 straight up and 15 4 against the spread as a dog when his team is coming off a win, including 5 and 0 against the spread as a dog of six or more points. All right. Well, here's what I got. Here's here's buddy I Mark. Got. I, I already it. liked him. That just gave me the shove to say I think they can beat Baltimore, it's which is another reason why I don't want to use Baltimore this week. I don't want to use Baltimore. So that that's easy. We're not. I don't. I don't want to use. Baltimore. You're talking about Survivor. Correct. I don't want to use. Baltimore. Um, okay. Let's hear the NFL, stuff, sir. Some stuff I've seen. This one's tough for me, but I have to report it. They bet Tennessee. Tennessee minus two and a half. They are at home against the Indianapolis Colts. Kelly's guy. Kelly's favorite quarterback. Will Levis. I don't think much of him, but Levis. You know, in uh, Levis. Indianapolis is you so. Guys? You're like making up names now. I don't know what any. Uh, I don't really know the players' names. You know, it's because I don't play fantasy football anymore. I don't really know like who any of the players. I mean, I have a fantasy team. It's not like I'm like super enthralled with them that I know every player's name. But yeah, I'd like to think I know the starting quarterback and at least a handful of players on each team. I don't. I know. I, I probably okay. know most of the quarterbacks. I definitely don't know a handful of players. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, Tennessee. Indianapolis is really banged up. So keep that in mind when you're when you're looking at that game. The Colts have so many guys hurt. Right I use now. the Titans minus one and a half and splash and like the, and off this football pool stay line. I like that. Maybe that could be. Maybe that's our an option. I think I might have used it in the super contest as well. I, I would love to play the Titans and that's, splash. I, think that's a, I would love. I would love people. nothing more than to do that. You love them. There's nothing in the world you love more than using the Titans. Listen, I wanted to gamble last week, and you didn't want to gamble. We use a two now and a half. Point it's scared because we only got one entry left. We use a two and a half point favorite. We use the Denver Broncos. What are you talking about? I'm talking about in the other contest. Be We're quiet. talking about Splash right now, right? So in Splash, let's remind everybody: weeks 12 through 18, you got to make Double two picks. picks. So that means you've got to pick. Quick math: 25 teams. That's yeah. really hard. And Kelly and I have done a good job of saving all the best teams. So maybe, I guess, Denver as a two-and-a-half-point favorite wasn't enough gamble for Kelly last week. Maybe we should have used the Cardinals as a seven-point underdog. But we did use the Broncos, and <laughs> and maybe we can use the Titans this week. That's a sharp one. Here's another sharp one I saw that's also a very small favorite. Uh, almost San Diego. The Chargers. They played yeah. the Chargers. When we were at minus two and a half, minus 120 on this game, they used the Chargers. Right now we're at minus three even. The Chargers are at Denver. I don't I, – I wouldn't really want to use that, frankly. I don't I don't really like that spot. But I know the Chargers I, are usually pretty good on the road. I don't want to take road teams, especially the division. How about that? That's fine. And then the last game is a home team, but it is a division game. And we might have already used them. It's the New York Jets. They took plus three. So the, the idea is the Jets get a bump because they fired their coach. Right. They get, they get the interim coach in there. But here's why I, I don't really love it. They still have the guy who's the real problem, Nathaniel Hackett. He's still Yeah, but they said that he's not calling the plays. Well, then who is? Rogers I don't know. But I'll say this. I like the Jets and teasers this week for what it's if worth. If you're not – here, one thing I don't understand, if you're not – calling the plays and you're the offensive coordinator what exactly is your role you know, that's what i used to i didn't understand when he was the head coach of the denver broncos so don't I ask me what he's doing about, in new york i mean not to like you know i know it's easy to say it now but i used to say that all the time about eric b when he was in kansas city as the offensive coordinator if andy reed is calling the plays patrick mahomes is driving the car what exactly is your role here what are you doing I could stand Are you there. trying to piss off the internet? I could okay. stand there on the sidelines while Andy Reid called could in you? plays to Patrick Mahomes, Kelly. I don't I don't know that that gets you I don't I don't know that that gets you an NFL head coaching job. The enemy got a chance in Washington. Did not work out very well for him because he didn't have Mahomes anymore. Just an opinion. Jets was one. And then I I told our our group chat I can't get involved in these games, but they bet the over in the Jacksonville and the Bears in London town. Three Bears 
and uh, Jaguars. Am I going to catch that Bears that are eight and a half wins? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to criticize you here. I, I, I know this is going to be tough, but you're – I think we, I think I know what you're doing, kid. You name every team in the league as a survivor option, so that Sunday night you can you can play the "I told you so" game. I'm not made, using the Bears and Survivor. I said, you, do you, you think I'm going to count for and have wins? Right. You mentioned the Bears in our group chat on Tuesday. Last week for this week's game. Yes, no, you no, did. no. I said nobody. I was. I'll go back. I'll show you because I kind of like the. Jazz. I can go back because I'm in the group chat too. Okay. Okay. Take Who a saw? Take a breath. You want to do the? Uh, you want to go to the mailbag? Yeah, I'm in here sweating in the sauna. Should have turned the fan on. All right, the mailbag ready. Oh nope, I got splash open. Sorry guys. Uh, here we go. At money m one key on IG says, "What will you do if you win the big Survivor contest?" Well, well two, after there's, there's after taxes, things. what would it even be like? Two point seven five million. I'd yeah, probably well, just keep working and then put my money in a 401k. I would just put it all in like the S&P 500, right? I mean, that's all you got to do. I guess. Make um, some interest. So it's 14, and then attack me on that interest too. <laughs> 14.2 million after we chop it up with all the partners and Kelly's people get their cut. It's probably what, like a couple hundred thousand left. And I guess I, I just put it in the S&P 500. But we... What about the other? The other contest is a million dollars, though. We, we we don't. Again, we gotta we gotta stay focused on that. Yeah, and I don't think Slash takes out taxes. I think you have to do that on your own. I'm not sure. Um, really quickly, our producers just texted us. We forgot to talk about the Heisman. The Heisman Trophy. Okay. Well, that's great because I can take another shot at former employee Chase Michelson. So Chase, the Heisman was Chase's baby around here, and oh. when they they asked me to talk about it on the show, I went to look at our positions. I mean... Don't worry. You guys got me on Avery Johnson. (laughs) You got uh, got a free donation there. This Chase Michelson kid. I mean, I don't... I I don't know. I bet you guys get killed on Travis Hunter. No, no, we're not. We we lose a little bit on Cam Ward. Cam Ward is 9-2. to Travis Hunter is a big loss, but you've got to... He's not going to win. Look, you're going to lose if a non-quarterback comes off the pole like that and wins the Heisman Trophy. Travis Hunter was at, at times was as high as 80 to 1. Most of the money wow. that was bet on him actually came in at 7 to 1 a few weeks ago. He's the favorite right now at 9 to 4. And then you got the running back from Boise State. That kid is awesome. Yeah, John T. We're actually a small winner on John T. He is currently 7 to 2. Uh, look, I, I still think the race is pretty wide open. It wouldn't shock me if one of these other quarterbacks, like, give Dylan, me a long shot. What if Dylan Gabriel goes nuts on Saturday night and they beat Ohio State? You telling me he couldn't get himself into the mix? I guess. Or yeah. Jalen Milrow was all the rage, and then they go out and they mm-hmm. lose one game. Yeah, but look, Alabama's got Alabama has more big games to come. They play Tennessee next Saturday. And they've got yeah, other teams games. like Alabama and Jalen Milrow are going to get forgiven for having a bad game. Yeah, and they got other to get forgiven. And they have other really big games. They have other high-profile games. Milrow is 8-1. to one. We do lose a little bit on Milrow. Carson Beck, 25-1. to one. I, I don't really – I don't think much of, of Carson Beck as a player. I don't, I don't really get that whole thing. But, yeah, we don't want, we don't want Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter is not a good outcome. That kid is awesome, by the way. Is that what – is he going to be the first pick in the draft? That kid is awesome. Probably. Jeez. I don't know who else would be. He's good. I've read every quarterback that every drafts not named Jaden Daniels is basically a bust. At Christy Gundrum wants to know: Has JM seen any big futures in college hoops or NBA yet? I I, ha- I hate to do this to Christy. You're call- Caleb Williams has been playing pretty well, Kelly. He's I mean, marginal at best. Relax. Oh, I'm, I'm still going to catch eight, under eight and a half wins. I, I, He's going to lose to the Jags in London this week, and it's going to start to derail things. So we got. Uh, I had to look up some college basketball futures. We got hit on Rutgers at 40 to one. We got hit on Indiana at a hundred to one in the NBA, some win totals to look at. I got to, I got to come up with my group NBA win total play this year. Last year. Are you, are you doing that? I didn't know you were in. No, me and the boys, me and the boys all get together on a team. We bet. Yeah. You guys like sit around and just throw out random numbers and throw them up on the board and see who bets what I know. 
Yeah, like in the NFL, we have the Broncos. And then hockey, we're doing the Washington Capitals. NBA, thinking maybe the Utah Jazz over could be a good one. I like, I like the Magic under. And here's one, Clippers under. Paul George is gone. Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard essentially stopped playing after they won the championship in Toronto a few years ago. And they're going to run their team through James Harden. Okay. Yes. At derailed Look at the covers on. Tar Heel on X says, is the most surprising improvement for the Redskins not the obvious quarterback play, but actually the offensive line play? Do we need to add derailed Tar Heel? Do we need to, to, to beep that out? Is he, he actually, I'm looking at the mailbag. What he wrote Redskins. I was just reading what it was written. As. Was that on Twitter? Did he say that on Twitter? Redskins? I don't know. I'm dying. Come on, Jan. Uh, I, I think the most. It's all been surprising, but I think it all goes back to coaching. The coaching, the coaching, making the offensive line look better, making the quarterback look better. The defense is better than people give it credit for. You know, look look back at their game two weeks ago. They held Arizona to 14 points. Arizona's a very explosive team. Washington's. I would well, agree. Uh, I, well this is a, I'm upset about this next question. Oh, I figured you would be, but go ahead. You took Denver as your best bet last weekend? Uh, I gave it to Sam Panionovich. What uh, the fuck? What, what, uh, Jeff what? Limberger says you both took Denver minus two and a half as your best bet last week on shows, but you Seattle and Casey. What factors made you like Denver enough, so much ATS, but not enough for Survivor? We did. I like the, Kelly, well, hold on a second. Don't I you dare to... blame Gia. We did use Denver in Survivor. Why do you keep saying we use them in Splash Survivor? No, but I wanted to use them in the other Survivor too. Okay, next. Well, the answer to the question, Lemberg or Jeff, is we did use them in Splash and we won. And we did not oh. use them in Circa. We talked about it, but oh. there was a straw poll and we ended up using Seattle and they lost. And Kelly wants to kill somebody. But we did use them in Survivor. Allie Dorsey from X says, what kind of money has to be in the has to be bet to move a line from three to three and a half. I'm guessing in the end. It's not about it's not about the amount of money bet as much as about who bet it. It's about who made that bet. Because that's a very significant move. To go from three to three and a half or vice versa, it would have to be a very respected player. And you probably wouldn't go from three minus one ten to three and a half minus one ten. Or in our case at the Westgate Superbook, we booked the NFL at minus one oh eight. So we probably well wouldn't go from Three minus 108 to three and a half minus. You know what's crazy? I think we need to talk about that, even though I'm ready to go because I'm in this sweat box. And Um, also, can we tell the the listeners too your 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 butt cheeks are asleep? They really are. I'm like I'm like sitting on a on like a table. I'm 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 getting antsy. Uh, (laughs) I can tell you're for you guys the things I do. But no, we we should actually take a step back and talk about this. So I'm in Illinois right now, staying with some family left the hurricane. So I have like 10 apps at my disposal. Most of them are garbage. I couldn't open an account. I won't say where in Massachusetts last March. Then Mm -hmm. I tried to open up another big account today, which I'm pretty sure I had one when I was in Vegas, but I digress. Wasn't able to open one there. So I opened up, uh, I already had a couple. So I log in, start line shopping. I opened up a new account that is um, in a few Northern States. They have, like, minus 113 on, like, half of their games. Well, you've got... So can we talk about why minus talk, 108 is so important? Let's talk about that, because in some of these other states, the fixed costs, the taxes, the the league the league licensing fees, all these deals that you've made, because I know, because we were operating in eight other states until a couple of months ago, the, 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 the fixed costs that you have to overcome are so great that these books go to these, I mean, you're not going to be able to win betting on the NFL at minus 113, folks. No I'm shit. Telling, you're not going to be able to do it. So if you want to do it, you can. If you're only treating this as a recreational activity, you just want to have fun, you want to drink a beer or watch the game, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's probably I do. More, paying, thir- paying 13 cents no, I'm saying, on every I'm dollar saying I think is inherently wrong. I'm saying betting rec- just recreationally small amounts of money for fun. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to give yourself any chance of winning, you've got to step away from all those bells and whistles and see where you get the best price. Because this, this is hard enough as it is at minus 108. 
it's really hard to pick winners in the NFL unless you're Kelly and you knew Denver was going to win on Sunday against the Raiders. You're not going to, you're never going to be able to win at minus 113, period. That's not, that's at, not. FFNG Sports on X says, thoughts on the implosion at the Tropicana. I'm more concerned about the roof at Tropicana Field. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Murray, are you sad that the iconic Tropicana Hotel is no longer? You know, I was out of town that night. I was I was in San Diego. I didn't know that they were doing that. Uh, no, I don't. I don't care. You I didn't don't. see our producer JH's picture of Louis D'Onofrio's ticket that he found like 13 hours before it got imploded. No, really? Oh, that's really yeah. uh, no, I don't care. But and I think they're going to put a baseball stadium there, right? So that sounds, sounds great. like a winner to me. Good Are to you going to be an A's fan? No, I'm going to stick with the Nationals. I got I got to okay. stick with the girl I brought. I got I'm I'm sticking it out with the Nationals. Okay. And that's why you're a sole Redskins fan. And now they're good again. Congratulations. At Brian, we four four five three six one one one. That's like a burner account. Who is your pick to win the Super Bowl, John Murray? Should we do we want to read these burner account questions? Like this guy, get a real get a I real mean, hand. that he just like no. typed in his real name and yeah. X just made him a fake. I uh I don't it's a good question. I think I I really think the best team in the NFL is Baltimore. Okay. But I I've seen this act so many times. They're going to get into the postseason, and once they get behind, I had them at twenty-two to one last year. Remember, Lamar Jackson turns into a pumpkin. I mean, he can't. This guy cannot play from behind in a big game. Even even that game they won on Sunday, the reason the Bengals were down there to kick a field goal is because he fumbled. Yes, he did. And then the Bengals' offense just totally blew it from there. I do think Baltimore is the best team in the league. If you make me pick a Super Bowl pick. I'll go with my guy. I'll go with PC principal Dan Campbell. I'll go with the Lions. I I, I I still like I still like what I see from Detroit. I think it's telling. Okay, then give me one I, that's not like a favorite. Like give me like the Bucks. Give me like the Vikings. Give me something like long shot actual. It's yeah, something fun. It's probably not going to win, but could get deep into the playoffs. Um, hmm, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, I mean, I, I think a team that. I don't. I actually. Don't, I don't even know what their odds are right now. I should look, but a team that Isn't you that don't want. Te- I can't remember everything, Kelly. Uh, a, a team that you don't want to write off is Green Bay, and the reason is they're so well coached. That guy is such a good coach, and everybody. I mean, I just mentioned the Lions myself, and everybody's talking about the Vikings. Don't forget about Green Bay. They I have Green Bay have, to win the division. Green Bay will have no problem going on the road in the playoffs and winning games. We saw them beat Dallas last year in the first round. They could have easily won the San Francisco game. Yeah, that guy was such a good coach. I would say Green Bay's a team maybe could come off uh, from out of nowhere and shock everybody. Nowhere. Uh, I, still, I still like Jordan Love. Jordan Love has struggled a little bit. But remember, he got hurt week one. That interception last week was like I something I would have done with a like a giant defensive lineman running at me. Like that was really stupid. But keep in mind, this is a guy who got injured in week one last season. He played. Yeah, but it doesn't well. have anything to do with quarterback IQ. That was dumb. Yeah, that's true. I'm just trying to be nice. But what's your pick? What's your pick, Chatty? Uh, I told you. I think that I wanted something fun, like something super long shotty. Washington football team commander Fox. Come on. Why not? Hey, I mean, it would be so fun for your team to win a Super Bowl. We'd have to go. And I'll wear my team shirt that yeah. that Mad Fat Teacher got me. I think it's a great idea. If the if the Redskins make it to the Super Bowl, Kelly and I will go to New Orleans together for the game. But that, I don't think we have to worry too much about that happening. Uh, yeah, John Oldman said Bears-Redskins NFC Championship live show. I, I don't know about that. But I, I, I will say um, – I, I will say they've been very impressive, but I don't think that they I, – I think that they will eventually – Wait till they beat the Ravens this weekend. Come on. That'd be great. I hope they do. I hope they knock out all the people that use the Ravens in Survivor. Okay. 